Hello Nuggets. Okay, so I thought it's time to do another circumcision update because today is Thursday, which makes it one month, four weeks rather, exactly, uh, since I had my circumcision. Um, and I got a comment on the video and it reminded me, oh, you know what, I should do an update. Okay, so the update is I kind of feel 100% better. Um, I don't quite know what 100% is, <laughs> right? But I feel better. So um, uh, I masturbated. It was okay. It's not good. Trust you. Uh, it's a. It's very desensitized. It's just not as enjoyable. It's just not. Um, but I'm getting older as well, so it's just. It's, honestly, I don't masturbate as much anymore anyway. But it's. Uh, I tried it, and it was like, eh, yeah, yeah. all right. I mean, the release is still great, right? I mean, men need that, but the actual act is just. I don't know. It's just a function. Um, so that was a little disappointing, um, but. Um, I'm going to see the doctor tomorrow for my four-week checkup. If he gives me the all, cl all clear, I'm going to uh, try sex. Well, hopefully that's better. Uh, I've read some stuff that your staying power is better. Um, someone actually said that the temptation to masturbate is less. I mean, I don't know about that because I'm getting older. And as you get older, the temptation is less anyway. So, um, But it is a little worrying how it's desensitized. Obviously, it's a, it's a godsend that it's desensitized because it means I can wear pants without an issue. Um, but there's just very little feeling there. It's very, very little feeling. Um, I had to get used to cleaning it because it's actually a little bit different, right? It's so, um, I think I mentioned that in the last one actually, but so I've got through those problems. I can be, uh, completely normal with it now, aggressive with the washing and what have you. I mean, it is still a little sensitive, but I think that that's just normal. Um, someone asked about the color. Um, the color change of the gland in particular changed a lot. So I don't quite know what's right. It went, it was red right afterwards, after the, uh, the procedure. And then it went pink and then it went kind of milky white as the skin starts to form over it. I did have a problem where skin was forming over the urethra, um, which I had to break and kind of remove. And then it's happened twice actually. So I'm going to talk to the doctor about it. I think it's fine now. Um, but actually, here's a note. If your pee stream suddenly splits and changes direction, you might want to check the urethra just to see whether or not the skin is forming over it um, and then do something about it. Um, but other than, other than that, I think it's okay. My assessment at one month would be if I didn't have to get it done, I wouldn't have got it done. You know, I think maybe if sex were more important to me, like if I were younger, right? If I were in my 20s or my 30s or... Um, even my early 40s, then I think maybe the idea of staying power um, might have been appealing because, you know, when you have a foreskin, there's so many nerve endings there. The stimulation is very intense, you know. Now I can compare the two. Uh, it's kind of not surprising I didn't have much staying power. It's kind of, <laughs> it's not surprising I had to think of baseball. It's not surprising that you had to pull out. It's like all of that makes sense now compared to this, you know. Um, so I think when I was younger, maybe where the image of your performance is very important to you, you know, uh, as opposed to not just the pleasure you get, but the perception and being able to go for a long time and all that. I can see why a circumcised man you know, gets the benefit there. But the reduction in enjoyment is, and I really feel for people who are circumcised at birth and have no idea what the comparison is. You might still choose one over the other, but... Um, the sensitivity, the, 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 the enjoyment is just way less. It's not, there's no comparison. And it feels very different. It's an odd feeling. I can't quite get used to feeling so much, you know. Um, one last thing I wanted to mention um, is uh, the occasional moment of phantom foreskin. I know that sounds ridiculous. But there have been times when, and maybe it's just force of habit because of, you know, had foreskin for so long where I've wanted to retract my foreskin because like it just feels good sometimes and all that and I would actually feel my foreskin and think okay in my head I'm thinking oh I want to retract my foreskin it's like a stretch it's like a penis stretch sometimes and then I'd start and go wait I don't have a foreskin but I can feel it every very occasionally it's not a common thing it's not like having an amputation and feeling a you know a phantom leg or something but Occasionally, I feel like I can feel my foreskin. The other thing that happened 
is occasionally, this hasn't happened for a few, a couple of weeks now, but near the beginning, my foreskin would itch. My foreskin that I don't have anymore would itch. It's the weirdest thing. I, like, I don't know, it's gone now. It is what it is. Uh, I can wear pants. I can do all of that. Um, but yeah, the phantom foreskin thing was a little bit weird. Um, so I can say that in my case, four weeks is is 100% healed, you know. Um, I'm using 100% little loosely. Good enough to do whatever it was I was doing before. I'm walking every day. I'm, you know, there are still occasionally sensitivity. One thing I've noticed is, oh, not getting the boners anymore, which is the erections. I sound like an adolescent. Not getting the erections anymore, which is fantastic because those were a nightmare. Um, and yeah, that's it, you know. Masturbation is just not such fun. I'm okay with that. You may not be. If you're younger, you still or just have a higher sex drive and really enjoy it. That might be, yeah, that might be something you want to consider doing the, if you have phimosis and your options are cream, don't do it apparently, um, dorsal slit or circumcision, you might want to just consider the dorsal slit. Uh, I might talk to the doctor about it and give you a follow up about to see whether or not that changes the, the, the nerve endings in the foreskin. Because right now, as I think right now, I want them back. But then again, I also have even less desire to masturbate, which maybe is a good thing. I don't know, maybe I'll be more productive. It's not like masturbation was stopping me living my life. But, you know, it, you're a ma- I'm a man. Pops into your head. Sometimes in the middle of the day, you're like, oh, I think, uh, you know, that's what happens. Um, sorry if this is too brutal for you, but there you go. Nice alley brutal. Anyway, that's my four-week update. i got to go take that dog out there for a walk. And that one, actually. Um, to go and test out the new system Uh, and then I'm going to get back on my diet which I started today and I'm going to start updating on that that's it all right you little nuggets if you're going through it and you're feeling the pain you're feeling depressed and miserable I've been there stick with it it does get better it feels like the worst thing in the world honestly one of the most traumatic experiences of my life so I know where you are buddy just stick with it stick with it it goes it goes wrap it in a bandage don't worry if the doctor says oh it needs air to heal at night wrap it in a bandage get your sleep and then take it off all right nuggets bye